This little girl may have started even younger than me though. This is baby Eleanor and that's her mom, Tate. And Tate works in a pub in North Carolina with her boyfriend and Eleanor's dad, Patrick. And they kind of took one for the team by going in during the latest giant snowstorm, but they had to bring Eleanor with them. So she became kind of the hostess with the mostest that day. <laughs> Is that not adorable? Anyway, this, this, uh, everybody that went there was charmed. Uh, they went in to serve their community and to serve the people that were looking for a warm place to sit down and get something to eat and drink in a storm. But she became kind of the little rock star of the storm, little Eleanor. She is absolutely adorable. We're hoping we're going to be able to talk with them. Oh, there they all are. Hi. <laughs> So, so how was she that day in the storm? Did she get fussy or did she seem to really enjoy working no. at such a young age? She loved it. She had so much fun. She got to wave at any, everyone that walked through the door. Um, <laughs> she just smiled at every person that came in and everyone loved seeing her. Yeah, she's great. She's here just about every day. So she's, she's like the little pub mascot. Yeah, I, I love a kid in a bar. It's fun. <laughs> I remember when I was a little girl, there's a place that I still go to to this day called The Harvest in Queensbury, New York. And I always thought it was so cool because Phil, the guy who owns the place, used to let me sit at the bar to eat my pizza when I was like, you know, 10. And I was like, hey, man, I'm at the bar. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor definitely has me beat, though. I've never hung out in a bar. So you guys were told, of course, you could stay home that day. Why did you make the trek in during the storm? Well, uh, Simone, the owner of the pub, she had been driving around kind of checking out the roads because that, that snowstorm for down here was kind of unprecedented, uh, the, the, the volume of snow. Yeah, we you got don't crazy. see that amount of snow no, and ice where you live. Right? Absolutely not, yeah. So uh, she had been driving around, and she's like, I'll, I'll pick you guys up. We'll go to the pub, we'll make some breakfast and get some hot chocolate, and we'll see what we want to do. And uh, we wound up pulling out the rest of the staff because we didn't want anybody else driving around in it. But, uh, you know, we're right downtown. And uh, our downtown is, is considered food poor in the, in the sense of there's no walkable right. groceries. Right. Uh, there's no grocery store down there, uh, downtown. So a lot of people depend on, on the restaurants and food scene down here for their, for their meals. And a lot of people didn't have power. So we thought, hey, let's, let's open up so people have... A, a place, place to get to warm, go. they can exactly. get a meal. Yeah. And we got slammed. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we they all came in to see Eleanor, too. I bet you she, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I bet you yeah. she earned yeah. some yeah. tips. <laughs> yeah, she was the life of the party. It was crazy. Well, there's a really sweet um, story that attaches to your story. Do you guys know the, the boutique? It, it's called Pollywogs. The Pollywogs yeah. Children's Boutique. They sell yeah. from like baby clothes, like up to tweens, right? Yeah, they sell like, you know, yeah. a wide, wide range. Well, they thought that your story was so sweet and that you're so lovely. They're in Greensboro, North Carolina. They're giving your, you guys, well, Eleanor, really, $5,000 to their store. <laughs> That's a tip. <laughs> Is that not That's adorable? Insane. Oh my God. Like, children easy. grow fast, but good luck keeping up with that. $5,000 worth of clothes. That is isn't, amazing. Isn't that so adorable? That's so amazing. Wow. Oh, my God. That's crazy. If you ever want to come north, we'll be happy to put your child to work here in New York as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually where It's a very about. sweet story. Thanks, Tate and Patrick and Eleanor, of course. We'll see you when we see everybody. Bye-bye.